Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so so glad you found my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Come say hello. My name is Jen and I love all things color. Color is my vibe. Um, so if you are a color lover as well, you would absolutely adore my channel. We talk about beauty, skincare, and also my favorite topic, mineral sunscreens here. So today we're going to be checking out a holiday set from Laura Mercier. Yeah, it is empty. This is like, it's actually a mini eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow sticks. They're her caviar uh, cream, um, hang on, what is this called? Caviar stick. Caviar sticks are pretty popular and they come out with like a mini twice a year I think at least for sure the holiday season they always have like a set like this and it's like three teeny tiny eyeshadow sticks and the package is bulky look at that it's so big it's so big so I just took the whole thing out so this retails for $29 and it says it's a 53 value I recently also got the Bobbi Brown Soho Glow Cream Stick Set right here. We are definitely talking about these two together. So it's going to be like a battle of the cream stick formula, which is better. So both are long wear cream eyeshadow sticks. So definitely. So there's going to be a demo section. As you can see, I have like two two tone eye look, not glam, very, very subtle toned down looks. So you're gonna be seeing out the seeing out. Check out the demo section. I'm you can see how I attain this complete look. And there's also gonna be a comparison, swatches and the colors and everything. Like color comparison, finishes and long wear and all those things. So definitely stick around for that. I did do an exclusive video for the Bobby Brown Soho where I demonstrate these on the eyes so definitely i will link that video down below definitely head over to that video if you want to see how they apply and how they look on the eyes to get like a better idea if you're debating which set to get but for this video we're going to be doing demo only on the laura mercier one what we're talking about so first before that let's get into the swatches so swatches demo and then comparison swatch comparison between the bobby brown and the laura mercier and i will link that Bobby Brown video down below so you can take a look at it in the demo. So that's where I do the demonstration on the eyes. So yes, so this retails for $29 and you get three shadow sticks. It has like, they have like some kind of a code and sticker. So three shadow sticks and these are called Shimmer and Glow Caviar Stick Trio. And let's quickly see where this is made. This is made in USA. It has a list of ingredients. So they have three colors. Um, so let's get into it. So it came with like a little sleeve where the shadows were actually housed. So let me quickly pick these things up because they're all scattered everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so regular like a stick formula which kind of like twists up. So you have cocoa which is like a brown, beautiful, beautiful rich brown. This is the shade I have in the outer V and also in the lower lash line. Look at that. It gives like a little bit of dimension, but it's not harsh. You don't even need to blend it out. Very, very soft dimension in the lower lash line. So that's the one I have in the lower lash line. Let me quickly swatch that for you. A dark, rich, beautiful chocolate brown color. <coughs> Excuse me. That is matte. It has zero shimmer in it. It's really, really good. In the demo section, you'll see how easily it blends out. And then this is copper. This is like really flashy gold. Uh, I know it says copper, but it's it's very much a gold. Very foiled, guys. Very, very foiled. But if you, as you are like applying when you like pat it, you can definitely remove that flashy and very foiled look and give that like soft shimmer too if you want if you wanted to so that's gold that's copper sorry it's called copper and then finally they have amethyst which is this has shimmer but it's very like soft it's like a soft shimmer and it's like very kind of grayish it's not very rose gold kind of a um, purple kind of shade it's very grayish purple and it's pretty 
uh, it has like definitely a dark base. I would not use this as an inner corner highlighter. That's why on this side I have this on the lid, but the inner corner highlighter I use the gold because it's too dark to use as inner corner. It will leave like a shadow and kind of like close your eyes instead of like, you know, open it and make it bigger. So those are the three colors. So let's quickly head over and see how they apply on my eyes and then let's see the comparison let's get into this demo section i thought i'll start with the dark brown the coffee actually it's called cocoa right so uh start with the cocoa and let's do i thought i'll just like go in and do the outer v my eyes are already prepped i just have uh just eye primer no matte eyeshadows nothing like that so i'm just gonna go and just like draw basically a triangle like this you see that just like that and there's the triangle <laughs> I'm just doing it oh no I'm just kind of winging it so if this is not how you would like to do just yeah just giving you guys an idea of what I would do that's it my outer V is done <laughs> basically I drew a triangle and I used my um, the brow bone as kind of like a guide to where to stop and that is it my brow my outer V is done so I'm just gonna do the very same on this eye as well you can definitely tr use a, a you know like a brush but this is like the easier way to do it I'm just like using my lash line and my brow bone to make that V and then I'm just drawing a line across and that is a triangle and I'm just using my finger just like blend 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 you can bring it even inward if you want to so that is it oh wait Definitely remember which finger you use to blend and don't touch that finger on your face. That is it. So my auto V is done. Yeah. It's not bad at all. So when I was playing around with this set, this is what I actually exactly did. So I thought I'd do uh, the gold on one side and the mauve on the other side. I'm just going in with the gold. I don't want to take it too too much to the brow bone so I'm just gonna stop there and just blend it tap with my finger and that is it and now it's a little bit like a uh, blended and kind of subtle because when I actually swipe swiped it across the um, lid it was super super foiled so I'm just gonna go in and like kind of touch up basically just that yeah that is it and I'm just gonna use the same thing as in a corner highlighter just right there yeah so that is the gold side that is done let's do the same thing on this side the other lid I'm just like cleaning my fingers because I don't want the face to get dirty so the mauve is here, this one. Let's blend that out. This is super subtle. Look at that, it's so, so soft. Such a soft look. Now, I don't want to use this as an inner corner highlighter, the mauve, because I have previously used it, and it's a dark color. It kind of creates like a shadow because of the dark base in it, so I'm just going to go and use the gold itself again um, as an inner corner highlighter because that is too dark. The mauve is actually pretty dark. It casts like a shadow and kind of like doesn't like open up and brighten the eyes. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of like the finished look basically. Um, you can even like do 
a little bit in the lower lash line if you wanted to to create a little bit of dimension like that yeah it kind of not too too harsh but a little bit of dimension. I'm using the cocoa color by the way using the cocoa just to create a little bit of a mild dimension so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some liner and I'll be right back all right guys I am back I decided not to put any mascara and like glam this look up because I wanted to show you guys how like look at that so natural all I did is put some eyeliner on and that is it it really looks so so simple so you can just swipe this on your eyelids and just pat 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 blend it and put some eyeliner on and you're good to go you don't need like ultra glam up this look if you want to go ahead but I'm just I, I just want to show you guys what it would look like at its barest form so I'm just gonna go and pick up some highlighter so right now I have sunscreen and I set my face with this Laura Geller powder uh, in tan balance and bake hang on balance and brighten so that's my favorite powder right now so this is the hourglass uh, ambient edit something palette for the holiday season I did review it and compared this face powder with a full size so I will leave that link down below take a look at it I'm gonna use a darker pink berry color so yeah that is it and I'm gonna pick up a big brush and get the face powder and just set the entire face just finish the in full makeup with this So that is it. That is like the finished look. So hope you guys like this demo section. So let's get into the comparison part of the video. Um, so the price on the Bobbi Brown Soho Glow Set uh, is the same as the Laura Mercier one. But um, I think you get a tiny bit more in the, in the Laura Mercier one. So in each of the cream uh, shadow sticks you get from the Bobbi Brown, you get 0.9 grams of product. So you don't get an entire one gram, but in the Laura Mercier's cream caviar eye, eye sticks, you get one gram. So you get one full grams in each of the minis. In here, in the Bobbi Brown, you get 0.9. So just a teeny tiny bit lesser um, the Bobbi Brown one and Bobbi Brown is made in Italy. Where's this made? Um, made in USA. So the Laura Mercier one is made in USA and the Bobbi Brown is made in Italy. Both very similar price. I think for me, it comes down to colors. It comes down to colors, to be honest. Uh, because um, I do like how the kind of variety and textures and finishes they gave in the Laura Mercier one. Because you have this like uh, chocolate color, which is, oh wait, this is the amethyst, sorry. The chocolate color, which is called cocoa, which is completely like, doesn't really have a lot of, uh, you know, like shine. It's actually, it's matte basically, right? It's matte. Uh, so they, you have a matte and then you also have like a soft shine, shine like a soft shimmer. I already have the swatch, but I'm just like going to do it again. It's like a soft shimmer, which is the amethyst, right? It's like a dark um, grayish purple color. And then you have something very glitz and glam, the, the gold one. And what's it called? Copper. This is very gold if you ask me. Look at that. It's pretty foiled and it doesn't have chunky glitter per se, but it like it's very flashy. It's so so flashy on the eyes. So I like that they gave you like three different kinds of like variety with respect to color family and um you know like finishes. So you can pick and choose. It doesn't have to be always glam, but I mean Bobby Brown also has it, but I do feel uh, all of their colors are kind of vibrant. All three are kind of vibrant, uh, especially the lightest one is pretty vibrant and also kind of glittery too. Uh, it has like, I wouldn't say chunky glitter, but again, it's pretty, 
So all three are kind of glitter, uh, like flashy looking in the Bobbi Brown one. Um, it's just like a different, so this one is also lighter. It's not like as dark and you see this is more dull than the Bobbi Brown one. This is also like kind of like um, soft shimmer, but it's lighter so it kind of like flashes a little bit more brighter and the golden bronze one is like like so beautiful it has like a dark dark base and it like flashes gold it's it's so so pretty so i guess it comes down to what you like and the color story you like or which kind of like finishes you like so basically it comes down to that uh, but otherwise, performance-wise, both really perform well. Ease of application, both are on par with each other. So basically, it comes down to, if, if you were to pick up one set, it comes down to what kind of finishes you like and, um, yeah, and colors too. I know basically, if you, if you think brown is essential, go with the Laura Mercier because this is all three are, uh, you know, metallic. And this one definitely is one matte, one soft shimmer, and one very flashy gold color so yeah hope this comparison helped you pick at least one set if you're interested in these long wear cream eyeshadow sticks let me do know down below in the comment section if you are interested in picking any any one of these out uh, what do you think about these sets uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys very soon